Okay, Graham Roberts here. We've got on our form radio buttons which give us the right colours when we click them as shown in the text field. What we're going to look at now is a list box. How can we get a list box to work? And a combo box, by the way, is very similar. Well, there's a list box. It's got items in it. And if we run this, we'll see how it actually looks when it's run. It turns out that a list box really is very easy to use. There we are. We can select particular items. We should really start out with the first item selected. And the way we do that is to change the property so that instead of minus 1, which indicates nothing is selected, 0 is set in the right property field. Let's have a look at that. So we go back in to the source code and we look at the properties. And remember what we're looking for here is the selection, selected index. So if we look right down here under S, we will find the selected index there. And it says the index of the selected cell down here in the helper text. We want to make that a zero. Um, the reason we want to make that a zero is because um, it's the first element in an array, which is what a list box is. If we click on the ellipsis, um, we get this. This is not terribly helpful to us. So that's why I'm steering you just to put a zero into here. So there we are. We've done that. And the first item is selected by default. But the items are not really what we want. So let's go back into properties. And this time we're going to look at the model um, property. Click on the ellipsis, which is actually helpful to us this time. And we're just going to take, get rid of those. And we're going to put in some colors again. We're going to have those colors, but in a different form. So yellow, green, red, and magenta. In fact, we just have another one just for fun, which we can have purple. Click OK there and close. And we can see that they're in our box. And the first one will be, of course, yellow. That is, it would be if we had the right property set. Has the property been reset? Yes, it has, because we took them all out and there was an empty list and because there was an empty list there was no element zero it was a null list so it's put minus one in there so bear that in mind if you do this the first way uh, first thing you might have to do it again there we are we got what we wanted if we run that we will see that it is what we thought how do we capture the data from here that's what we do next but to do that, we need a button. And so we'll look at that in another video tutorial.